Hello again, and we're back with another video from Cornish Jackal and from the depths. I've had a request from a mate who wants to see a tutorial on a few of the missile systems and a little bit more in depth on custom cannons. I'm gonna do a brief video based on that. Um, it's slightly out of tune, shall I say, to what I had planned, but it's kind of needed as um, he's at that level. He wanted to know it, so I thought, okay, I will jump stages. Before we get started, I would like to mention I'm setting up a faction for this game from the depths. If you are interested in taking part, becoming a member of the faction, then please message me below and I will get to you as soon as I can. Um, there will be also my Steam group. I'm sorry. My Steam page will be linked in the comments below. Therefore, you can also add me on that one. And, yeah. So, we will try and set you up with our fa my faction. Sorry. Our. Our faction. My faction, our. Our. Because it's my missus as well. She helps me out. She's a gamer. Yes, female gamers are more than welcome as well. But you've got to listen to me. Haha. <laughs> anyway. You laughing there? My missus sat in the room here and she's laughing at me. But hey. It's unusual that she's actually listening to me for a change. Um, so. We will get started with this video um single player vehicle designer Do -do -do. there we go i'm thinking i'm thinking okay to start with i'm gonna kind of jump the gun a little bit i am um, just gonna shoot on make a platform la 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 la. Da -da -da -da. this is what i will be working on my this will be my working platform. I'm going to have to set up some pre-designed platforms and whatnot so that it would save time. So I'm not boring you lot. Okay. If you didn't know, I just tilted the camera so that the arrow was facing like it is. And then um, on the side of your frame that you build, Make sure your block's there and just press F and the computer automatically fills it in for you. If you're doing a platform like this. So. Okay. We will start by. Let's think. Okay. What I'll start off with is the. I'm going to start off with AI control. Um, I'm basing this off my mate's work that he's currently done. What he's currently learnt. So. I'll be talking as though I'll be teaching him, so hopefully you guys can follow along. Right, we will start with an AI mainframe. So, what you want to do is go into your build mode, press your E key, bring up your tabs, go down to the AI. This here is pretty much where all your AI information will be. Alright, so once you've clicked on the AI tab, your first object will be your mainframe. That's basically the brain for the AI. And we will click on that one. For now, we'll place it dead center. So that's your AI. Um, it's rather boring looking, so nothing fancy. What you will want to do next is Preferably putting down to, ex to whatever extension you want it to be, really. 
I'm going to do a basic one, which will be AI connectors. A uh, six-way connector. Let's put it down there. Click, click, and that's two. Then I will want to put down... These AI connectors just help you to have more sides to connect things to. So instead of just having uh, one, four, five, six, six sides on this block, you've now got 12, 18. No, yep, 18. Mm, can't count, too late. <laughs> um, so what we need now is an AI card slot. The AI card slots are there to allow you to be able to put in these card target prioritizations which as it says on the side this card can be inserted into a card slot and will allow prioritization of certain targets basically what that means is if you've got more than one enemy and you've got let's say one over there by the island and one over there by that island um, if the first one is damaged and no threat then the AI will be able to prioritize the one that's a threat. Um, you'll also be able to prioritize whether the weapon shoots at your scrap of the ship. So if the turrets, the enemy's weapons, or all the turrets are down, there's no AI on it or anything like that, your ship can still attack it unless you tell it not to attack the salvage and when I say salvage just simple blocks like what this platform is um, anything that isn't salvage is basically anything that can keep the ship in play alright okay so we will want AI card slots one uh, and you're telling me ah wrong one Okay, I put the wrong one down. So let's go front back. Put that. There we go. As soon as I place it, connected to mainframe. Call sign 1993. That there is basically telling me it's connected to that particular AI. Now you can have more than one AI on a system, but I'll go into that in a minute. Um, I want to put one this side as well, and I'm actually going to get rid of that one because it's kind of not needed. So, card target prioritization. So, there's that one. And then we've got the AI, the card aim point selection. So, I'm just reading, see if there's anything that it will help me to explain this. Right, okay. Um, these ones are for a little further down the line so what I will do is I will try to remember and I will come back to it um, I'm gonna place it in because we are gonna need it but I've got to try and remember to explain it when I get to that point it'll be easier if I come back to that one tracker target association um, this one here works alongside target prioritization it's like it says targets with the highest priority go first and are given only to trackers that can see them so it works alongside the this one here for best results obviously you can use any one of these on their own but i have found through foul and work and play and around and all that rubbish i have found that they work best all together um, the card AI patrol and card fortresses this one here will have the card patrol because it is actually classed as a ship or a vessel vehicle sorry um, it's not a fortress because a fortress you start building totally different which we'll probably discover that in a totally different video the card patrol I'm not going to bother putting in because what this see is not actually going to be moved but it will allow you to put your vehicles into a patrol mode if, again um, it's fairly straightforward if you need any advice on that I will try and get to it as soon as possible otherwise I'll probably leave that one out because it is fairly straightforward 
and it can be kind of difficult to explain and as I'm new to these videos yeah anyway um, so that's basically the basics of the AI um, when that is yeah so basics of the AI blah 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 so what we want to do now is we want to be able to attach this to a tow it so for an example I've got to come out of build mode and go there right so for an example I'm gonna briefly put in one of my pre subjects one I'll go for that one because it's the only one that I've got on this account and there we go so this is one of my basic cannons it's nothing hey my keys are sticking it's nothing fancy um, as we can see there is an antenna back here I'm gonna come out of that da, 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 da. right so uh, game doesn't like me there we go okay so I'm just removing these back pieces so you can see what's what and we have a AI wireless receiver now if you notice it's saying no mainframe connection connected that's because <coughs> I haven't put up a on here so we've got to go back to AI haven't put up a wireless transmitter now because I'm actually building on that turret over there it's not letting me uh, go away Let's look at that one press B there we go so yeah a wireless transmitter must go on top of the AI or these connect six-way connector blocks or the five-way connector blocks must in some way be connected to the AI mainframe directly okay so let's just for now stick it there and then as you see connected to mainframe transmitting on channel one so back over to our turret and if I remove the wireless receiver for the moment it's just another AI six-way connector there hopefully you can see that and I'll remove that and we've got to go down lower and then there's another six-way connector there um, right and then we're actually I can't, I've got uh, how am I gonna do this what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this slightly different the basic setup I have got over here is the turret on the bottom which hopefully if you don't know how to do turrets then I will hopefully do another video and show you how to do the turret but the basic setup is the turret then I've got a local AI weapons controller directly above the turret and then on the back I had the six-way controller another six-way controller and then on that I had an a wireless dish receiver that was it and this silver thing at the front is an AI failsafe now these here are supposed to stop your turret from attacking your own shit if the target goes across a certain part of your ship now um, my last time I played the game it wasn't quite perfected but I ha do believe and I have read that there was an update uh, yesterday I believe it was the second that was yesterday yeah I think it was and that's been corrected so I've yet to try that out but hey the setup that I had was basically like this okay uh, I'm gonna have to put a six-way connector down uh, building one place that's why okay so local weapons controller that's what I had directly above the, t the rotor turret whatever you want to call it okay so no mainframe connection which is fine then in front I had the failsafe so that's the local weapons controller this is the failsafe 
this is now the silver thing at the front that I showed you and then we had the six-way connector which is that one that one and then we had the wireless receiver which is there so it's receiving on channel one the brain over there is is sending on channel one which means they are both receiving on the same channel now if I was to s just shoot over here and change this to a different channel channel 2 then this one would no longer I'm doing this slowly no longer be receiving because it's on a different channel so it's like basically having two radios um, probably two little walkie talkies and they've both got to be on the same channel otherwise you can't hear your friend talking on the other end that's basically the idea um, so to change the channel you just press your Q key right through to 4 and then transmission is turned off to cut the AI off altogether so this is the basic setup um, and oh yes I nearly forgot this one here I said that I'd come back to it now this one is the aim point selector now with this one it allows the targets on these turret ones on these turreted weapons so these turreted weapons would with that one there so I'm not making this clear I will start this again this one here the one that I said that I'd come back to it was the aim point selector now this here works in con in con uh, okay uh, take a breather let's try this again uh, the aim point selector works with the transmitter and the local weapons controller there we go I did it <coughs> and my missus is still laughing at me Ugh. so it works with the local weapons controller okay to fire these weapons now the AI can control these weapons with or without that extra card in there but I like I said before I did find that the aim point selector works a lot more better still poor I will admit, admit that but it works a lot more better than without it so what I'm gonna do is I am going to repair this one uh, we went six-way connector yeah. I gotta remember it's a separate object so Six way connector, six way connector, two of them. Wireless receiver, place that one in, and it's receiving. So, if I move back, <coughs> and now I'm going to press tab. Right, so for now, um, that one there is doing nothing. That's just a basic setup of what I've got underneath this cannon. Um, and what I'm going to do, that cannon is going to attack an enemy I'm going to spawn in. Uh, if you're wondering what I've just done, I've just pressed the X key and it brings up all the different factions that you can have in your campaign missions. And then, so for an example, Deepwater Guard is the first team that you come across. Fairly easy, unless you don't take them out quick enough. Um, but deep water guard ships and I'm gonna go sea viper because it's their basic ship So I've clicked on it and it's spawned it in so already my turret is turning But it isn't turning properly there we go No, that was so not fair How dare you you lucky shot? Oh my god, that is so not fair Ugh. That was such a lucky shot. I moved him well out of the way. And he shoots me. 
Thank you, friend. Ugh. There we go. Let's get back on this platform. Ah, uh, my corpse. Go away. Get out of here. Don't fancy looking at my corpse. And my turret is not firing. Why? Have a look. Oh, I know why. It's because it's a basic cannon. Da -da -da -da. So, right, so what I'm doing now is just gone to custom cannons. Um, basically, most of this is already on here, but what I'm adjusting is the length of the barrels. So, two, see, I've added another two, and immediately it started to go around. It increases the range, so it, which allows me to attack him further away. So, da -da -da -da, he is not accurate at all. Okay, let's get rid of this idea because I do not like that. So I'm just going to replace that and replace that and replace that. There we go. Oh, that. How are you doing that? Okay. Seems a little bit better. Okay, he's bugging me now. It's a basic turret. It's simple. It's effective. Kind of. Like I said, it was basic. I didn't bother with something fancy. Um, what I'm going to do is... I am going to place a, another turret down. Here. So, to get rid of him, I want to kill him. He killed me, so I am determined to kill him. <laughs> Determination. We will succeed. Why? Will you stop laughing at me? I'm recording. That's my missus, guys, if you can hear her giggling in the background. Okay, um... My brain is gone dead. This thing is not working. Why? Why aren't you working? Work. What? I don't know. I've just done it with the other one. He's too far away. There we go. There we go, so, are they both firing? Yes, they are, so. Ugh. I am not with it. I really am not with it. I told my mate that I'd have this video up and running for him tonight, and it's like, no. Anyway, whilst those, those two will easily take him on, he's just, yeah, he's just being sneaky. I can't believe he took me out with one these first shots. Anyway, death and destruction to you. Right, so, yes, that is the basic idea of AIs and the AI mainframe, getting them to run your turrets and whatnot. The only thing that I must emphasize on is for an AI to control your turrets, you must have this AI weapons controller in close proximity of either both the turret and the rotor or the what do they call it on it the turret it is a turret so yes it is can i edit this i can i edit my misses like i can these videos crikey she keeps laughing at me guys what sh what shall i do about her Anyway, um, yes, the AI weapons controller must be in close proximity of this turret and the firing piece, which hopefully you know a little bit about them, um, for it to control both motions. It will control up to two blocks away from either of the two pieces. On some of my designs, I have turrets um, where 
the AI local weapons controller cannot be close enough to both pieces that it needs to be. So, and you stop firing. Ugh, this game I do not like. No, I do. It's just, yeah, I'm trying to make a video here. Stop fire, and you go and stop firing. Oof. Right. Um, bum, 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 bum. But yes, basically, um, you can put two uh, local weapon systems on one turret if necessary there we go now we'll try and stop firing there we go yes you can put two local weapon systems on the one turret one controlling the turret itself and one controlling the firing of the gun and you can run them both through the one receiver so that's nothing that can easily be done it's fairly simple once you get your head around it um just connect with the oh, i'm dancing around here stop hey stop 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 okay i'm gonna sort that out in a minute before i carry on anyway um yes you can connect it all together with the ai wireless blocks here the connector segments right this board is bugging me i'm sorting this out Okay, let's go there. Blocks, lead blocks. Do 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 do. Okay, let's see. Not as bad. So that'll do. Anyway. He is getting destroyed. That little green thing that came floating past then. That was damage that he is taking. I cannot believe how actually useless these cannons are. Oh my god. They are useless. Anyways. um, What was I going to be doing next? Um, So yeah. That basically covers the AI. Uh, if there's any questions. Leave a comment below. And obviously my mate's going to probably have a question, so I will help him. But the, the next step is going to be, well, it'll be turrets themselves. Um, not going to go on so much about cannons because they're kind of self-explanatory. Um, but I will go on about the missiles purely because... They took me a little while through watching two or three, uh, uh, two or three different channels uh, before I fully understood them. So, what we will do is have a drink. Uh, bear with me, guys. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to start building a turreted missile system. Now, I am going to be perfectly clear here. I can do the turreted missile systems, no problem. But I really do struggle with the missile systems that go on submarines and any missile systems that basically point upwards from the top of a ship um, it's not the system launching system I'm having trouble with it's the custom cannon uh, there it's the custom missile side of it so I can teach you basic missiles but when it comes to programming them and building advanced complex missiles I will try to incorporate it as and when I learn them myself but for the basic stages this is how it goes I'm also gonna have a cigarette here so forgive me if I take deep breaths and pause for a moment <coughs> so what we do for a turret is the basics is you go to new object 360 turret um, 
anyone, whatever you prefer. You've got your 180 degree ones, so for an example, if you've got a turreted weapon right in front of your cockpit or your um, cabin on a on a um, that destroyer or something like that, you do obviously don't want your turret to be smashing through your cabin. So you use your 180 degree ones. But we, for this purpose, we are going to use the 360 degree turrets. And I'm going to stick it right on the end. So instantly, it's made a new object. And that new object is set is connected, but it is separate from the platform. So if I ever obviously want to build on the platform again, I have to look, press B, look at the platform, then press B again. Uh, apparently, you can switch whilst in build mode from one object to another, but I've not actually found that that works for me. Um, if anybody else has the same issues, let me know and I'll try and see if the game creators can help out in any way, whether it's a glitch or anything. But yeah, um, the next part for this would be a wooden block or a metal block, whichever you guys are using. Oh, pardon me. Um, then we go missiles and torpedoes. So, in here you need to have your missile controller. Now the missile controller does practically everything. Right, it um, reloads the guns and it actually fires the guns. All right, but this is not the AI section of the AI controlling it. It just reloads it and it actually fires it when you want it to. So we've got to have one of these in place. So this is going to be a basic setup. So we have the missile controller. Then we need for this particular setup, I'm going to put in missile six-way connectors, which are basically the same as the AI ones that I was talking about earlier. Just it allows you to add on a f more space, really. Then we need the missile launch pad which this here is as it says the launch pad um, that's how I like doing them Stra fairly straightforward if you really wanna think about it in a Disney cartoony way then this is like the actual factory this is where this here is the government and the government gives out the orders to the factories and the factories make the missile components themselves if that makes it any understanding any easier then you've got the missile block and I'm going to go with a standard four piece missile for now two three four and one two three four so carrying on with our little government idea that's the government factories and this is where the component the actual missile is made and ready for launching so it's really and truly you can use that as it is it's cheap it's effective it's ideal um, the only issue with price when it comes to missiles is the missiles do cost a bomb all right so you do want to have them strategically placed and have them strategically programmed when I say programmed you can program your controller in different aspects again unfortunately I am not 100% on actual programming of different blocks yet I am learning that one myself um, so yeah um, we've got a few extra features which are a missile laser emitter which as it says on the side this here is a laser emitter that will target the enemy so if we place one yep we've still got an enemy out there place him in the middle and unfortunately he's too far away for us to target but that laser will bend to the direction of the enemy um, and then your missiles if they have 
this is my understanding on it if they have a missile laser receiver attached to them then they will follow that laser to its target that's my understanding on them please correct me if I am wrong but hey um, the next one is identify friend or foe add-on now this one works separately from the AI friend or foe add-on piece that we're talking about the silver piece but it will tell the missiles directly once they've been launched which is friend and which is foe without one of these I've never experienced it myself because I've never taken the chance but without one of these I do believe that your own friends or your own ships can be hit if the missile loses its way during flight staggered fire on I absolutely love this thing I really do there's three missiles there so it's for one of these it will apply a 0 0.1 delay between each launch pad so three missiles it will launch the first one then 0 0.0 there sorry 0 0.1 seconds later will launch the second one and 0 0.1 second after that will launch the third one you can adjust that by pressing the Q key whilst hovering over it now I like to keep mine at around 0.5 between each launch that way if the ship manages to dodge the first one the second one will be already readjusting its direction to compensate for its movement and if it again if it manages to miss the second one the third one is pretty much guaranteed to hit um, by the time because that's like point well that is a second later so you got first one launch half a second later second one launch and then a second later from the first one your third one will launch so you are guaranteed at least one rocket will hit by then so we will now move on to the missiles themselves um, and they are by pre there sorry I jumped the gun there by moving on to the missile itself either in build mode or in preview in preview it's going to be awkward because I'm too close and my man is annoying me don't like this guy uh, da, 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 da. so good free build and as you can see we are able to modify them in preview free build preview preview so for stabilization purposes because of this raft floating around I'm gonna do it via the build side of it so we go to it and we press Q now this is where things get a little more complex or at least so I found it and yes um, lights just flashed off beside me I'm sat next to the Christmas tree guys and the Christmas lights by the looks of it two sets of Christmas lights has just blown which is not good anyways it looks like I'll be going town tomorrow anyways we are talking missiles so as you can see on the let's see well on the left hand side here we have a few tabs you've got ones that can edit which I'm already in the editing mode so this is basically edit mode then you can load I've already got a test of seven block but we're working with a four block so it won't allow me to use this one then you've got a save and obviously tester is the seven block one it's already saved and then you've got back but we want to stick to edit for now so we're going to edit these four missiles and by doing that we will be looking at the missiles in the sense of okay this first row this first block box 
is your what your missile has currently got. So it's currently got a short range thruster, fuel tank, fuel tank, fins, fins, target position, prediction, guidance, explosive warhead, and laser designator receiver. Now, if you remember, I said about the laser, and I believe our laser is targeting. Yes, our laser is targeting something. I'm not sure what, but it is targeting something. Let's have a look. I have no idea what our laser is targeting, but it is targeting something. It's not in the direction of the enemy, so. It's, yeah. Anyway, back to the missiles. So, as I said, the laser designator receiver will follow that laser, hopefully, to that target, not to whatever it's targeting, which is weird. But that's what the laser designator receiver is for. The, <coughs> the basics behind that one is it the missile could fly off in a straight line, straight off, but as it gets towards the enemy target it will then track the enemy by that laser so that's pretty much it um, it doesn't really kick in until it gets close enough to the target I believe it is let's find it on here uh, low beam radio laser designator um, laser designator receivers are receivers will aim the missile at whatever the laser missile block is pointing at. So yeah, basically, it will aim it at that, but it doesn't actually kick in it properly until it gets right on the target. I believe I have got that one right, or I've got them muddled up. I've got them muddled up. I'm going to blame my missus on this one, because she's no longer listening to me, and because she was laughing at me earlier. So, I've got them muddled up, so ignore that entire thing that I've just said. The laser designator receiver will follow the laser f from start to finish. I do apologise on that one. The laser beam rider, which is the one that I got confused with, is the one that will target at... It will not target until the terminal stages. So, as it says... Useful for engaging fast air targets as the laser does not have to be pointed at the target until the terminal stages. Okay, so that one there is the one that I was thinking of. I do apologise if I've confused any of you. So, the explosive warheads. I absolutely hate them. So, first of all, I am going to change that from explosive warhead to a fragmentation warhead. Double click and then it changes that and moves down to the next one. Now with the fragmentation warhead, the reason why I love them so much is because they don't just explode. When they explode, they send off fragmentation. And you can adjust the angle of fragmentation. So at the moment that one's set to 180. It's a little bit too wide for my liking because I prefer a more of a narrow angle so it ends up doing more damage in a smaller coned area but it penetrates the armor or I say armor but it's kind of light armor so yeah um, that's why I prefer it a little bit more of a, of a cone shaped one the elevation offset um, I'm open to any suggestions here guys on what that means um, I'm going to have to blame that on my education because I'm not quite fully understanding what that actually means. I think that's up and down heights more than anything. Um, but I don't know if that gets affected by the cone. Yeah. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm going to stay open on possibly both of them. Because my understanding is that one there pretty much overwrites that one but I don't know I'm not sure now I'm not sure I'm open um, leave any suggestions or comments down below um, in the comments below this video and I'll have a look at them um, yeah so but that's why I like fragmentations though is because they do more damage 
when they explode they don't just have the explosive damage they do damage afterwards because of the fragmentation part of it and the next one is the target position prediction guidance this one here do, 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 I not actually totally sure let's have a read on it this guidance computer will aim the missile at the expected intercept point okay so it's basically a computer in, in uh, guidance which yeah okay fair enough can't argue with that um i must point out i'm actually doing these backwards to be honest the laser designator is the tip of the missile the fragmentation warhead is right is the warhead right at the t front of the missile but behind the laser designator then it's your computer that will aim the missile the target position predict the guidance oh my god why do they have to make these words so complicated and such a mouthful anyway then you've got your fins your fins are based on this missile they're in the middle um, they will allow the missile to turn so if you want it to turn more often for an example following a plane then you will need fins and the more fins you have the more the tighter the turns the more often it can turn um, I I'm guessing um, that if you don't have any I'm guessing it will go in a straight line um, yeah it must do I've not actually tried that I've always put fins on so anyway fuel tanks these fuel tanks I love them I love them and I've noticed I've downloaded a few designs from the workshops uh, steam workshop and I've noticed some people use fuel tanks along with their warheads to give it that oomph in a bit of an explosion I personally don't see much more of a difference the idea is sound but I haven't experienced much of a difference especially when it comes to armoured targets fuel tanks in my experience don't explode decently enough to bother with wasting the fuel in that sense so I do quite often keep the fuel tanks at the back of the warheads um, and then you've got your obviously your short range thruster um, your thrusters are what gives it the power to fly now um, what we will want to do is having a brief look through this column which is where you have got all your pieces all your designs that you can put in and put together um i think that a lot of this is going to come down to own experience own choices and time to light a cigarette um yeah it's down to your own choices it's i i can go through all of these with you but it's kind of pointless in that sense um as i'm just gonna go through to the keep to the unusual ones the ones that i feel that people may struggle with um which would be that one there i have no idea what an augmentation proportional navigational guidance uses the fins to accelerate the missiles this helps to ensure an impact down the side is it down the side is it is only effective when closing on target okay so at large angles it will not cover it um again i will leave that one open um have a play around uh, like I said if I don't know something I'm not gonna say try and make things up if I don't know it, I don't know it uh, there's so much to this game I don't know everything I'm just here to try and help as much as I can in what I do know which isn't very much unfortunately 
Anyway, we've got our uh, infrared seekers. These here are pretty damn cool. Or should I say, they're pretty damn hot. They seek hot targets, like engines. So, they are guaranteed to take on hot targets. And the perfectionists on planes. I've pretty much, probably out of 20 shots with this one, I've probably lost 1% of that. In the sense of the missile veering off and or being a miss shot they are pretty good so if you want to build a missile that heat heat or that, that seeks out heat then that is what you want to use it for the proximity fuse i i don't know these are good i suppose um they're good if you've got the fragmentation warhead but they're not so good if you don't have it what these are for is they will cause the explosive part or, or the warhead part to explode when it comes as close as what it ca feels it can get to its target so possible uses would be planes again another use would be submarines if you can't get a guaranteed target on it then use the proximity fuse and it will explode when it feels it is close as what it's going to get um, the safety fuse kind of pointless never really had to use it but the idea behind it is that the missile doesn't explode on your vehicle um, that's the idea behind it now the one turn is from what I from what I understand just weird just in my headphones from what I understand the one turn is obviously what it's for I been asked I've asked for help when it comes to missiles like I said uh, missiles that launch from the top of the ship um, or from submarines apparently this is where you have the one turn to Otherwise, the missile just continues going straight up in the air or goes in the wrong direction. But the one turn will allow the missile to have one dramatic turn that will cause it to head towards its target a lot more better. Um, since I, w I have been told that, I haven't actually put it into practice. So, hopefully that is the correct information and I apologise if it isn't. Torpedo propeller. Obviously, that's the propeller which you would exchange for short range thrusters. You would put your torpedo propeller in there instead. And that is where the missile will launch from its launching system. Let's come out of this. But yeah, the missile would launch from the launching system. And instead of going off up into the air, it would drop into the water and take off through the water. So, back to. Cute. So that's your propeller. Torpedo sonar, well, pretty much the same. Sonar will allow it to focus in and target the enemy ship. Magnetic mines. These, I haven't experienced the use of them. I did download a mine deployer from the Steam Workshop. Um, but that particular design wasn't all that good it kind of got destroyed before it could even get close to launching its mines um, so I haven't really had much experience with the mines but I do have to play around with them ballistic tanks are for torpedoes and depth charges they're designed obviously for uh, keeping the depth correct for torpedo so it goes across the surface and to allow a depth charge to sink regulator I again unfortunately I have no idea what that's for um, camera for infrared seekers this is n I, d I, d I don't know I, I well I do know because it says it but 
I've tried playing around with it, but I've never actually had much success. So, again, I don't know if that's just me, or if it's a game thing, being so early, maybe it needs programming, I don't know. But anyway, when it comes to a lot of these torpedo designs, um, the computer will give you a basic design of this size. Obviously, when you go bigger and bigger and bigger, then you'll have issues. Um, for now, we're going to leave it as it is. I've changed the fragmentation. Warhead, bleh, changed the warhead to a fragmentation. And what we're going to do now, the reason why this is not firing yet, by the way, is because I've got no AI on it. So for the sake of putting an AI on, I am going to do wood block and um, put that one. Hmm, let's do that, 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 that. Okay, so somewhere for the AI to sit. Local weapons controller. And then I want to go six way. Um, fail safe so it doesn't launch it directly at my ship now what I'm doing here is I'm putting on a double receiver purely because if one was to get damaged it's got that backup but obviously chances are if that one's going to get damaged it's going to uh, probably be damaged by something big enough to take out the local weapons controller anyway so it's to some people it might be pointless but to me I just like to have that back up just in case um, that ship is well out of range isn't it so let's see if I can increase it by using my chevron so it's four five six seven then we can load my seven block and he's still not gonna fire at it is he no he doesn't like me okay so go I'm in build mode build mode right out of build mode no I need to go back into build mode I want to try something um, ba -ba -ba -ba. um control chair stick a chair on there put you in there then go out of build mode there we go i am not very good at controlling these especially with this rare so let's go back into build mode put the chair slightly higher if i can you're not going to allow me. Okay. Let's do this slightly different. I wouldn't normally do this, but hey. Um, control, chair. And this is where it's not going to let me. Haha. Uh -huh. There it does. There we go. Oh my god, this is so sensitive. Launch. Wait. Right. <laughs> that was not good. Did I get it? No, I didn't. I did not. Okay, this is so not fun. Right, let's get out of that chair, because that chair is annoying. Okay, then. Um, so... Uh, go to back to build mode. Right, if we have noticed, I do not know about the rest of you. Ah, no wonder you're not firing. It's the next step on my video. But hey, um, if you have noticed, this here is not reloading. And the reason why is because we have no ammunition. So what we need to do next is go to resources. And then we need to go to ammo barrel. So I will just place a simple ammo barrel. And if you notice that one there should 
There we go, that one there's firing. But that one there is not reloading properly. That's because uh, it keep it's not enough ammo. So what a lot of people will do, and I kind of see this as pointless because it's just resources. You only need the one ammo barrel. Alright, maybe two. Okay? But straight away they're both out of ammo. So, what you need then is an ammo pr ammunition processor. Now, this is what actually converts resources into ammunition. So, they're reloading slowly, but surely. Reloading, reloading. Now, th obviously, that cannon is taking it quicker than what I can reload it. So, put another one down. And another. And another. Now, doo -doo -doo, we got a problem. That's my mistake. Am ammunition does, by the way, reload automatically, by the way. Um, but I made a slight boo-boo. And that is, I forgot I need an engine. So, this is just a simplistic engine design. There's more better ones out there. Have a play around. Find out what you like. What works for your vehicle. Yes, I know it. There's better resource ones. Um, but at the end of the day, sometimes going for the resources side of it isn't as good a design type. I always say that. Going for resource consumption designs is not always practical when you've got small vessels that don't have that you just don't have the room for um, so I find a simple design like this um, it gives you power it keeps you going there's not a lot of problems with it so it's fairly yeah Okay, that's that, and it goes on. So there we go. Um, so now we've got our yes. Now they're working better. They're working better. We can remove that one. Remove that one, and probably run off the one now. Ah, oh, me silly. As you can see in the bottom right hand corner, the ammunition bar, top bar, is going up. Um, but obviously the cannon is taking it every time it fires. The middle one is fuel. Uh, and I ain't got no fuel, that engine's going to turn off in a minute. Oh, there is so much that you've got to remember. So, fuel. Um... But even the fuel in those barrels will go down um, because you need a fuel processor to keep the fuel up. So at the moment I am using 10 oil per second but getting 100 fuel out of it. Um, obviously I'm in creative so that's like infinite but in survival mode you do need to keep an eye on that. Um, back to the missiles. So, mm, nah. hate having large blocks even in build mode. Thank you. Um, wait. That cannon is actually shooting a long range. What I am gonna do is just step back a tiny bit to the AI and we have some AI detectors which is a 360 degree one um, I'm gonna put down some six-way connectors first then put down an AI 360 detector which obviously that will spin around 360 degrees ranges at 600 so anything within 600 I believe that's meters will be targeted by that one tracking laser also helps the AI to target it even better 
that is 500 so and that's targeted that one so that's 600 that's 5 why have you not targeted not sure anyway um, and then you got your radar system which is standard radar just on top 400 off on I'm trying to off and on but I can't change the range that's something that they need to sort out is that you should be able to adjust the range or something I don't know not sure uh, I yeah yeah I reckon that they should be able to adjust the range on that because I mean my cannons attacking it so be able to adjust the range on it. Anyways, the missile system is knock clacker. Why? 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 Let's have a look. I want to find out why my missiles aren't working. But that cannon campfire. That's why you're not controlling. Why? Why aren't you controlling? You're too far away. Like that. There we go! See? I'm a smart one. We will get there in the end. Look at that! And that ship ain't gonna last very long. Not very long at all. Boom! I love those explosions. There we go! So, let's come out of build mode, because I, press N to go into free camera mode, is the missiles going to fire again? Right, what I am going to do, for temporary, because I'm going to have a little play around here, I am going to increase these back up. Just so that ammunition will be built a lot more quicker. Long way. But it was that way. There we go. And then. There we go. Come out of build mode. And there we go. No, the missile's gone straight past. Ah, oh, that always happens. Bugger that. See, now it's trying to target that last little bit. Um, unless these missiles get it or it gets a lucky shot off on the cannon, that's going to be there forever. So, on this occasion, I am now going to press X and spawn in another Sea Viper. So, there's the other one. Look at these missiles. Do, do, do. I love watching these missiles. That's the only problem with the missile design that I've got. is When it comes to small craft like this, it seems to end up way... It seems to end up... Um, ditching in the water when it gets close to the target. I think it's. See, there we go again. No, that wasn't mine. That was theirs. That was their standard design. Hmm. Maybe it's just a random thing then. I thought it happened quite often to my designs. But yeah, um,. What I will do, I'm confident with that missile system, so I am going to spawn in a plane. Let's spawn in a strike, it's a bomber. So, bomber. Hey, that's not fair, I didn't know that you repaired. You're supposed to blow things up, not repair things. 
That's cheeky. Go away. Go away. But hey, um, I have pretty much covered what my mate wants me to cover, and I think I've done a uh, fair whack. So, um, I'm going to see if I can take this strike down before he destroys the platform. If not, he destroys it. That will be the end of the video. No. No. Ooh, that was close. Take it down. Take it down. Take it down. Take it down. Wait. Water. Where did it go? There we go. Did he hit me? He hit me. He destroyed my turret. I was wondering why he had green money following him. He destroyed my turret. Money, resources. Hey, I'm allowed. Uh, no. He hasn't hit my AI yet, so I'm lucky. No, he's destroying me. No, 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 no. He's going to win. He's going to win. Why are my missiles not firing? Because <gasps> it's taking damage. No, not fair. Fire, fire. No. That is not fair at all. Okay, he wins. Don't go up against the strike craft unless you sh are sure you can take him out. And technically, I thought I was. I didn't realise that that strike craft was going to get so lucky. But hey, um, I think I have covered everything. I will probably do another video if necessary, but I won't be doing no more today. It's ten past nine in the evening for me. So hey, um, there I go, floating off. I got caught in the explosion, and I'm gonna land hard. <laughs> um, I do not know where he's gone. No idea. There he is. Okay, guys, that's me out of here. Um, yes, he beat me, and I will leave you lovely people till next time I I'm gonna hopefully I'm gonna stop recording properly so hopefully see you next time please subscribe to my channel and search for silver dragon or follow the link below he's another guy that does videos on all sorts of games including this one um, please follow his channel and yes don't forget I'm running a faction so if you're interested by all means get in contact with me and I will see what I can do for you thanks goodbye